What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tiny Mac and today we are on part two of our apartment hunting for The Sims 4 for rent expansion pack that is coming December 7th. You guys really enjoyed my first part which I'm so so happy so many of you found that useful and you just found a lot of cool builds that you could go check out. A lot of you guys were talking about how it's awesome that I show off creators on here and show off gallery creators that may not have YouTube accounts and may not be posting this stuff on YouTube. This is exactly Exactly why I started this series was you know just to show off amazing builds and creators because there's some people who just create to create and they don't really have YouTube videos so I wanted to do my part and really show them off and you know just give some love to these creators that build such awesome builds for us we are doing it a little bit different this time versus part one in part one we focus more on duplexes townhouses condos apartments this episode is gonna be more for those creative builds so we got some Mediterranean apartments we got horse therapy ranches trailer parks, Japanese neighborhoods, regular neighborhoods. We got all sorts of things that we'll be showing off in this episode, but I wanted to spice it up and do something a little bit different for people who are looking for a little bit more creative builds. So let's go ahead and get started. We are starting with Simmer Adelina, and this is a Mediterranean apartment. It's not too pack heavy. It mostly uses expansion packs, so if you have a lot of the expansion packs, you will get a lot of the stuff in here. There are a couple stuff packs that are included with this. I think there's only one pack that I'm missing out of this. There's like eight packs that they used in general. This build is awesome and I really think that it will fit the style of gameplay that is coming with the new world if you guys are looking for something a little closer to those builds. I think it's like South Asian or I think it's like South Asian world or South American inspired i forget the exact geographic location that they took inspiration from but this is kind of the vibe and i wanted to show off this build because it is really awesome i am missing a couple packs but besides that it looks great so i love kind of how crammed and cluttered everything is there's a little area for kids outside and you know there uh, you can see like all these laundry things hanging they even have some hanging from the roof which i think is really cool and inside there are i think like three different builds or like three different separate apartments I don't oh no maybe four I don't really know it's kind of confusing looking at all of this kind of stuff until you kind of get the four rent expansion pack and kind, kind of block it off with the color coding thing that they got it is a little confusing so if you walk in the front door right here there seems to be one apartment right here go ahead and put our walls down there's two bedrooms and one bathroom in this apartment, a nice little kitchen area. And then if you walk outside right here, there's a little woodworking area, which I think is really cool that they just added a little space and put use to this probably space that they had no idea what to do with. So this one's two bedrooms to start. And then if you go over here, this is another one. It has a nice little kitchen and they're all designed differently, which I really appreciate. This one looks two bedrooms as well. And then they have a bunk bed. So if you need extra room, you can have, you know, up to three or four Sims in this one. They have a little laundry laundry area which you know I'm a simp for the laundry mats and laundry areas in general. I don't know why but I prefer having a communal laundry space rather than just laundry area units in your apartment. It's just some weird knack that I have. I don't know why I like it so much but I do. If you walk upstairs there's like one little room over here. Is this one big one? This might be one... Oh no. Okay so you walk in here and then there's one bedroom. Nice little kitchen area. There's a little patio. It's super tiny, but I like that they added it in general. And then there's one other bedroom and a bathroom over here. And then if you go into this apartment over here, it has a little bit of a bigger bedroom, a little infant room, which I like that they spiced it up in that way. It seems that there's a bathroom right here and probably a door that I'm missing that walks into like this little living area and then if you go upstairs there is like a little study spot so i like that they kind of included all sorts of different you know layers to this build and it's kind of like messy and cluttered i really like that and i think it would bring a lot of fun gameplay you walk up the stairs and then there's like a little door into this one which is super cool so you could have like you know an athletic sim that likes to play basketball live right next to the basketball court or something like that but it seems that there's like a little living area, one small bedroom, kind of like a painter's apartment almost, and then a little bathroom, and I'm assuming this is the kitchen area. But yeah, this is just a super cool build in general, and I like how like they differentiate each level drastically. Like no apartment looks the same, I just really appreciate that they got really creative with this, and it honestly stuns me that people can build stuff like this and make it look this good. So this is the Mediterranean Apartments by Simmer Adelina, so definitely go check them out. They have a really cool build if you you are trying to go for more of the style that is coming with the new pack. All 
right, here's another Mediterranean one that I wanted to show off. This one is base game. So this is why I wanted to show this one off is one has a little bit more packs and then one is base game if you're looking for more of a base game build. This one was built by Lose. I don't really know how to pronounce that name, but that is the apartment and this is three base game apartments. So it looks like there's going to be three apartments with this one. Let's go ahead and put the walls up again. It is a little confusing. I'm sure that this is going to be something we run into often because people are very creative and they you know the builds look awesome but they're just a little confusing to navigate at first so it looks like you walk into this first one a nice little living area it has like a little paint easel and you know a little study area and then a big kitchen over here bathroom and it looks like this is like another door but it's all connected so this is one big one probably and then it has two bedrooms so this one is probably a little bit of a bigger one or maybe they're all the same size i guess we'll find out i really like how they did like a little bit of a bigger style so you can have more family gameplay if you want and then it looks like you walk over here where's the front door to this one hmm well <laughs> give me a second trying to figure that out um is it up here maybe? Oh yeah, okay, so it's up here. Then you walk up into this apartment, has a nice little kitchen and then a little stairway downstairs. Ooh, I really like this. Then you walk downstairs, it's got a little living area. It looks kind of like a makeshift dining area right here. Another little office, a kid's bedroom, and then a master bedroom with a bathroom attached and then another bathroom over here, which is nice. They did a really good job at kind of creating this and the architecture behind it. So we have one that's all main level we have one that's half second level half main level and then one that's just main or second level so that's super cool so you walk into this one nice little living area again a little bedroom this one looks to be one bedroom so this is a little bit of a smaller one and then a kitchen uh walkway area and a bathroom and they have a little patio with like a little gardening area but I like how they have like picnic tables so you could like eat out here and then see your neighbors walking out or something. That's super cool. And then they have a little pool, which we love our community areas. I noticed a lot of you guys were talking about how much you love the spots with the community lots and like community areas attached to it, which I agree. Those townhouses that I showed off in the first video with the cafes attached to it, those are like my favorite apartments ever because I could so see myself using them. So I really love when people have like community areas attached to the residential lots. I think it just expands game play a little bit and it kind of helps you bypass those load screens which i really appreciate but yeah so this one's super cool i love the design and architecture once again i don't know how people do this so well but definitely props to them they did an amazing job and i think this one would fit in well with the new expansion pack so i definitely wanted to show it off once again this is by Lose. I don't really know how to pronounce the name, but it is base game. All right, next up, I really, 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 really like this one. You guys know I love my horse ranch pack. And this is something I could so see myself playing 100,000%. This is a horse therapy ranch by Architect Simmer. And it's not very pack heavy, surprisingly. It really doesn't use too many packs. I mean, it has like a good amount, but nothing crazy. And I could so see myself having like a residential sim that lives here and owns this spot, but they rent out like a little area and the people they rent out to have a horse themselves. You know, that's kind of how I imagine this going is so you don't have to have all of the horses and own all the horses. You can actually have someone else who owns a couple of the horses as well. And they did confirm in one of the videos and on Twitter that you can have up to eight people in your household per unit and you can have animals and horses attached to your household. So say you had like a townhouse per se, this is a really extreme example, but say you had a townhouse and you wanted one of your units in your townhouse to have horses and dogs they could and they could have up to eight sims and then the next unit can have up to eight sims and say they didn't want any animals you could have just eight sims in that household so that's kind of how it works but this is just a really cool build in general i love how they did the stables in the barn area and then you walk over here there's like a whole little changing area and a wash bay i don't know i love this build and i love how it has like an archway into the house i'm worried that the horses might walk into the house so i i would probably change that because i i guarantee the horses would definitely meander into the household but hey if you want horses in your household this is the way to go I like it. So there's like a little office area over here and then a hallway with a little bathroom it looks like. This is the entryway 
And then we got like a little kitchen, a little rocking chair area if you want to come out here and, you know, knit while you watch the horses run around. A dining area. And then over here is like a little wine cellar, it looks like. But they do have a winemaker over here, I saw. So there is a winemaker if you want to, you know, dabble in nectar making. Then upstairs, I think this is where most of the bedrooms are. So you have like two bedrooms over here, which you could like rent out this room, right? And then you could have like two people living in here with their horses. There's another little bedroom area you could rent out and then you could have like this as your main bedroom and bathroom. It's just a really cool concept and I thought I would add it just to bring a little bit of different gameplay if people are wanting to have some sort of animals attached to their households or have a little bit of a bigger plot where they just rent out one or two rooms. This would be a great build to do it with. There's a little jumping course, a little llama cow area back here. You could even add like a little fishing spot down here. So if you want to have your Sims fish, they could fish over here. I, oh my gosh, I love this lot. I could so see myself playing it. So I kind of had to show it off just for my personal horse girl lifestyle. I wanted to show it off for anyone who was looking for the same thing. All right, here's another one that I am kind of obsessed with, and I didn't even think about this concept until I saw a comment from one of you guys on my last video. I will be pinning comments, but I'm going to be blurring the names if possible because I don't know if you want me to share your names or not. I wanted to show off kind of some of the comments that I got in regards to what kind of builds you guys wanted to see. And this is a caravan park, trailer park, you know, RV park, however you want to name this, depending on where you're from. It's all different names. I love this one. Okay, so first of all, I love how like crammed it is. I am a simp for like crammed, cluttered spaces. I don't know why. I always prefer like the tiny cozy stuff over the big mansions. And this one's super cool because they have such different styles with all of them. First of all, they have like this little rental or not rental, like yard sale table over here so you could like sell to your neighbors if you wanted or like people would obviously come and buy things. They have a little chicken coop, which I thought was so cool that they somehow added that. They have a little bee box over here. So this looks like it's like more of like the herbalist or like eco person. There's a little like laundry hamper right here for no reason, which I kind of like that they just like included that. They have a little paint easel, little gardening beds. Over here, it's more of like the dark gothic, like, you know, they just want to stay out of the way and stay in the corner and not talk to anyone. This one's a little bit more like, I don't know, kind of like screams like family, you know, outdoor retreat kind of vibes over here. And then this, I think, is like the community area. We're, we're going to find out here shortly, but I think it is. Let's go ahead and jump into the builds. So this one's a little bit more dark and gothic. I love how all of them are drastically different from each other. It's super cool. They have a small little kitchen, nice little bedroom, a little study area, and then they also crammed in a living area, which I don't know how people do tiny living houses so well. I suck at them. This one's more of like that gardener eco person, and they have a little bunk bed, a little seating area over here, study area under the bunk bed, and then a little bathroom, small, small kitchen, which I really like how crammed it is in here. I would probably be living in this one, although I think you would need to move this. I don't know if Sims can get through here or not. This is the community lot, I believe. They have a sauna. That is so funny. They have a little sauna so you can go relax. Looks like a little bathroom area and then they have a study spot so if you wanted to delete the other spot or like other study space in the residential spot you totally could. There's a little laundry room. Okay that that hamper makes more sense now. So there is a little laundry area which I love. I really thought this was super cool and it could bring a lot of fun gameplay once again like you could just cram a bunch of sims in here and then they all just live right next to each other and I don't know it would just be really cool. So I definitely wanted to show this off. And it is a little pack heavy, just fair warning. They did use a lot of packs in this, but it is worth it. If you have a lot of the packs, go get this build. All right, we have another little trailer park. So I wanted to show this one off in case you were planning to do some sort of let's play or if you just wanted a spot that's a little bit more of a fixer upper, this would be a great build to do it with. This is the fixer upper trailer park and it's not very pack heavy. This is by Casa Frass, so definitely go check out this build. This is super cool and, you know, just brings a lot of fun ideas. They kind of just did, like, these, like, beat up, gross trailers that you kind of have to, like, renovate and fix up yourself. So you could have, like, your sim living in one of them. 
or you could just slowly start furnishing them as you get more money. I like how there's like just leaves and you know all sorts of gross stuff around the pool. Like it just looks really cool and it looks like a little junkyard. Also I think the sims should add like actual functional porta potties. I don't know if they do or not but I'm pretty sure they don't. This is definitely something I would want to see in one of the new expansion packs or stuff packs or whatever. I want a porta potty very bad. Super cool lot. I figured I would just showcase it super quick. It's nothing like crazy but I think if you're looking for more of that fixer upper style this would be a great build to do it with now we are hopping more over to like neighborhood builds i think these types of builds are going to be super popular in the new pack i think a lot of people have been searching for like that cozy neighborhood feel and we can finally kind of obtain that so i definitely wanted to show off more neighborhood builds in case that is what you were looking for these are tiny base game houses from sarah amina which i did sh showcase a lot of her stuff last time she it seems like she's really big into like the community builds and like multi-family homes a couple people said that they couldn't find her id name or that her lots weren't showing up i'm gonna try to find a workaround to that they pop up no problem to me but the gallery does sometimes glitch and not show people when you type in their name correctly. I will try to figure out what that's all about but yeah this is from Sarah Amina. She's got really cool builds so if you're looking more for like small tiny homes that are kind of cozy and you know by other people this would be a great build for it so a couple of them are furnished this looks like it's just a one bedroom a little living area bathroom kitchen and then a nice little patio over here this is another one bedroom and it's got like a little living big open concept area and then a little greenhouse which i thought was cool this one is unfurnished so it's up to you on what you want to create here this one is another unfurnished one this one seems like it could maybe fit like two bedrooms possibly has like a small little upstairs as well but it has like a little uh you know pool area above ground pool that's what i was trying to say i thought that was super cool that they added that and then they have a really big backyard so if any one of these would be a family house i would assume it'd probably be this one and then this is another small one which is like a tiny little area but a nice little sized backyard definitely wanted to show off this one i love when people do like these you know neighborhood style lots so i definitely wanted to show it off all right, this is another one from Sarah Amina, and I do think that I have a couple more after this one, so I'm just gonna kind of group all of her builds together so you guys can see all of them at once. But this is a Japanese street, which I would so place this in Mount Komorebi, 100% play this. I love how like cluttered it is, but I also like how there's like a little separation, like you can still kind of add whatever you want. There's a little bit of room for that. It's just a super cool build in general. So if you walk in over here, there's like a little fenced area, which I love when people do this. Like they have like a little gated area into a private residence. It's so fun to me. They have a tiny little backyard, which you could add whatever. And then, you know, a nice sized area. And then they have an upstairs area as well. Over here, it's got the same little vibe, which I think all of them do. But I love that. You walk in, there's a nice sized house. And then you walk up here. Here's another one. Again, they have the private gates, which I just love. This one is two stories and it's got a really nice sized home, which I think these would be so fun to have like little families so the kids could come out and play together. I just, I see a lot of gameplay ideas with this kind of stuff. You could have like an older couple that lives in one, a family home, a couple family homes where people are friends, you know, you could have so many different game styles, which I love. And then over here, this is a two story as well. A nice little area. This definitely is probably one of the smaller ones and then a really small one over here but it is still two stories so you could add a lot this could bring so much fun gameplay especially mount komorebi if you placed it on like that that kind of like you know street area where there's like the hiking and fun little park and all that kind of stuff if you place it right over there i feel like it would fit in perfectly and it's just super cool so if you like snowy escape and mount komorebi in general this is a great build so definitely go check them out here's the next build by sarah amina again love this so if you're more into like the suburban style homes and you want kind of like that neighborhood feel this is a great build for it first of all i love that the street is kind of curved it has three playable houses these two are are just shells that you can't do anything with but I also love how there's like road work going on and cars out on the street I don't it just adds a lot of realism especially for like people who love family gameplay I think they're more realistic sim players so this is a cool idea to kind of add all this stuff in they're really good sized houses you could do a lot with them and you could put them on a little bit bigger plots
shots if you want different, you know, backyard sizes and all of that, but I do like how they did like a little bit of a side front yard in a sense. This one has two stories, super cute family home. Over here, it's a little bit smaller of a family home, but still great and super cute. You could do a lot with it. And this one is just one story ranch style home, which you could just have like a couple who just had their kids move out or an older couple live here. You could kind of do whatever, but I'm super excited in the new pack to kind of see how this will work if there's load screens to go to these people's houses. I do know that they'll probably black out the houses you're not playing and just show your active household. So it will be interesting to see if like you could just go knock on their door and it'll open up or if you have to go into a load screen, I don't know. But if it is just knock on the door, open up, that is a super cool concept and something we've been waiting for. So I think this is a really cool lot if you're looking for more of like, you know, a couple family homes that live right next to each other where the kids can go play. You could even like delete one of these and add like a little park. There's a lot of opportunity of what you could do here. So I definitely wanted to show off this build. This build is by P Pickerson. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Pickerson. I have no idea. This is a Japanese neighborhood. It is pretty pack heavy, but it's so cool. So I had to show it off. Again, I love Mount Komorebi and I love Japanese style homes. I thought this was super cool the way they did this. Over here, you have like little apartments. So they added like little tiny, tiny apartments that you could have a couple people in. They have like a living space that's like connected to the bedroom. I don't know. I just love how tiny it is. It's so small. So these are kind of like the apartment areas, right? If you come over here, so I kind of want to break this up a little bit because there's a lot going on. This is like a little market store area where you could have like things for sale or, you know, I don't know how well that will work with the residential lot or how it will work in general, but it is a super cool concept. You can come over here and buy stuff from like the vending machines and, you know, just have some sort of community lot here, which I think is cool. Over here, there's like a little boba tea area, which again, I love the community lots when people put them on like residential lots like this that are still usable. I just love them and I use them so much. Over here is like a little bar area. There's like a little tiny kitchen area you could add as well if you don't have a kitchen in your own home. And so then this is the first build. You walk in, there's like a little kitchen, bathroom area, kind of like a laundry area. This looks like maybe like the bathroom sink, like it couldn't fit, yeah. <laughs> And then upstairs, there's a little room for you and a little dining area or like, you know, that seated dining table and then a study area. And then if you come over here above the bar, if you take these back stairs, there's a little empty apartment that you can design as you want. Oh, wait, there's stairs right here. I, I miss those. Oh, what? Okay, so they have a little staircase right here that walks into this build and this one's two levels so you can add whatever and they have a nice size patio with like a little laundry hanging area and then over here is a little thrifty if you take these back stairs over here there's a little thrifty you can come shop at i love this they did such a good job with this once again we got my favorite little laundry mats i love that they included this so there's a nice little community area where you can come wash your clothes and mingle with your neighbors but then if you go upstairs through this back area, there's a little apartment over here that is unfurnished, but you can furnish it however you want. They left a little creativity for us to kind of furnish, which I enjoy, and then a little patio area. This one is, you know, just like a little community area. I don't really know what this is, just kind of random, you know, but you could change it to whatever you want and you could add like the little mailboxes from the new expansion pack right here. And then you take these back stairs upwards and you get into this one, which is just like a small little studio space. And then there's another staircase that goes up here to another studio area. And then another one. Oh no, this is a roof, but that's okay. I mean, you, you got two out of three. That's pretty awesome. I just love how they did this. I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. I love how there's like a little apartments over here and then there's crammed little tiny townhomes over here. I just, everything about this lot, I want to play it already and I want to hop into games. So I just need the expansion pack to come out already because they did a great job with this. Here's another one by Percursion, Percursion, P-R-C-H, Sersen. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm just doing all the variations. But this is a residential in Japan. This creator does like half apartment style, half house style. Like they just do so many different types of builds on one lot and I love it so I wanted to share this one so this one's like apartments over here you have I think this is just one apartment per level yeah so you have like a little living area bedroom two balconies for you nice little laundry area and then bathroom and this probably is the kitchen down here this one's unfurnished but it has kind of the same style and then another unfurnished one down here but then over here 
It's like a full-on house right next to the apartments. So then there's like a little bathroom area, laundry area, kitchen I would assume is right here, dining area, upstairs there's one bedroom, two bedroom, and a bathroom. I just love that this creator gets so creative with their builds. I am obsessed. If I'm being honest, this might be one of, you know, like my new favorite build styles is kind of like the multi-family homes but they're different you know like it's like an apartment right next to a townhouse right next to a duplex like they do so many cool different things so i just had to show them off this one is crazy so <laughs> that's that's my only word for it is it's crazy spilled is geyser avenue by kira o underscore zero and it's just so much is happening and i love it so much so they have little townhomes over here <laughs> they have more townhomes they have an actual house <laughs> They have a tiny home over here, and then they have, like, two more townhomes slash duplexes over here. And then they have, like, a little community area with, like, a little park, a basketball area, so all your kids can come over here and play. Oh, I love it so much. So if we break this down, let's start with the townhomes. The townhomes are kind of the same style in every build, so they're all kind of the same. They have a little patio with different things on each patio, bedroom area. And then if you walk downstairs, there's kind of like the living space. So they all seem to be one bedroom, kind of have like a little living area, dining room, kitchen, bathroom. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I can't wait for this pack, you guys. I keep getting more and more excited every time I see stuff come out for it. This one over here, this townhouse is one bedroom as well, it looks like, and then like little living spaces, which you could always combine them, you know, like if you wanted like a living area that was like more family friendly, just combine this, bulldoze these and, you know, change it up to your style. They have a little family house over here, so it's got two bedrooms over here for two kids, little master area, dining room, kitchen. Oh my gosh, I love this build so freaking much. This is so cool. And then if we come over here, if we come over here to this townhouse, this is like the master bedroom over here with a nice little patio. And then down here, it's living space. It looks like there's only one bedroom in this one as well. Over here, there's like this tiny home. I love the tiny homes that come up to one bedroom loft area style and then a bathroom, little gardening space outside and then one bedroom as well with a little living space down here. Oh my gosh, I love this lot. So I would probably change a couple things because it doesn't seem very like family friendly oriented, but you could definitely change that to kind of change the layout to make it more family friendly. But I love how they did like the little tiny townhomes and then they did two more townhomes. Like it just feels like there's so much happening. With all of these households filled, it feel like it would just be a very lively neighborhood and people would be out and about. So I just, I don't know. I really wanted to show this one off. It's super cool. This next build is from Virginia 94 and this is neighborhood houses so there's two houses which I, I don't know you could have like two best friends that live right next to each other or two families that just moved in and are besties now you could do whatever you want but there's like a little paint studio up here with a little patio down here is kind of more of the bedroom area it looks like yeah so they have one big bedroom Ooh, I like that oh my gosh I really like this that is, oh, that is my style 100%. Over here, there's like a nice size bathroom and then it looks like a little bookcase area with like a little reading. You could probably put like a chair here or something. And then down here, it's like a little kitchen. It looks like there's like a little seating area, dining area, living space, bathroom. Is there only one, one bedroom? Oh, what is out here? Oh my gosh, you could so add another bedroom out here if you wanted. Guys, this is so cool. What? I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Wow. Over here, it has a nice big living and dining area. Holy cow, that's very open concept. I love it. There's a nice size kitchen as well. Bathroom. And then if you go upstairs, it seems like there's two bedrooms. So, yep, yeah, master bedroom. Oh my god, they did such a good job with the master bedrooms. I'm obsessed. I love these. And then over here is like a little kids room, which you can make two bunk beds if you wanted. Oh, they have a bathroom attached. That's super cute. Oh, you guys, I'm obsessed. Another bathroom. So I'd probably even take out one of the bathrooms and add another, you know, kids bedroom if you wanted. And then they have a little laundry room over here. A nice little balcony area. Oh, you guys. I'm loving this. I love this series so much. And then they have a nice little patio with like a family area. So if you wanted to have your neighbors over for drinks or for food. Oh, that's what I'm excited about. It's just like 
have people over and they like walk over from right next door. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. So many flowers. They did such a good job with the landscaping. These are such pretty builds. Oh, I'm obsessed. And if you wanted more of like that eco lifestyle, this would fit perfect. Oh, these are good builds. These are good builds. If you are familiar with the Painted Ladies in San Francisco, that is what this build is. They are the Painted Ladies. The original is from Plumbob Kingdom, but I downloaded them from Builds by B, and it's titled like Seven Eucalyptus Lane or something like that. It is pretty pack heavy, but they're super cool, so I wanted to show them off. And there's a lot of Painted Lady builds, so if you want something similar to the Painted Ladies, there's so many. Oh, I like how they curved the... The driveway. I thought this was like sideways for a second, but no, it's just how the driveway is. Oh, that's super cool. Whoa, that's super cool. What is this? Shut up. That is so, oh my gosh. I love this. Okay, so if you don't know the TV show, The Full House, Full House was filmed in one of the painted ladies they are in the bay area in san francisco so they're a really big deal they're like a huge attraction when you go to san francisco so i assume a lot of people will probably be building stuff like them but they're super pretty they did a really good job with them there is a lot of builds with the painted ladies so if these ones don't like particularly appeal to you there are a lot of different kinds oh i love how the doors like kind of sideways oh my gosh okay we gotta we gotta dive in there's so much to look at so up here, it looks like there's three bedrooms. Okay, a nice little walk hallway uh, bathroom over here. Two, three bedrooms as well. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, three bedroom, four bedrooms. What? Dude, they keep surprising me. This is crazy. So four bedrooms in this one and then three bedrooms in this one, it looks like. Walk downstairs. This one looks a little unfinished and unfurnished, which is kind of cool. I like that they did that. This one, I probably don't have a lot of the packs because they're disappeared. This is like a nice little living area and I would assume this is the kitchen. This one has a kitchen, dining and living, all kind of like whoop, 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 all together. And then over here, it's a nice little kitchen with a like walkout balcony. I like that. Okay, wait, guys, guys, I, I messed up. I messed up. So that last build was by James Turner YouTube and those were the painted ladies, which these are two. But this one's, this one is titled Seven Eucaly Eucalyptus Lane by plum plum bob kingdom oh my goodness i can't talk right now it's originally by plum bob kingdom but i got it from builds by b but the last one was james turner youtube this is the one that i wanted to show off but i also showed off the other one it's not you know they're both very different but similar at the same time so this one has a couple more it doesn't have like the back area which james turner's did and i kind of enjoyed that but it does have like a little kind of tiny community area i don't know how oh wait this is whoa whoa that's crazy okay well anyways <laughs> um they have like a little gardening area uh let's dive into this one really quick too because i want oh shut up this is so cool okay so do 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 looks like this one's one bedroom nice little living area once again you can make it like two bedrooms if you wanted so they all kind of have the same style. Okay, so they're all kind of one bedrooms up here with like little living areas. And then downstairs, they all kind of have the kitchens, kind of like seating area, bathrooms, it looks like. And then they all have basements. Oh, what? Stop, that is so awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, I just got a great idea. You could turn one of these into like a second front door and then rent out your basement. Oh. <gasps> I love it. Okay, so they have second bedrooms down here with other living spaces as well. So it looks like they're all kind of like two bedrooms. Yeah, but oh my gosh, that's a great idea. You could just rent out down here or you, you know, designate it with the color thing and they just have to walk up through your space to get out. Oh, guys, this is so cool. I'm so excited for this pack. I cannot wait. These are the Painted Ladies. Seven Eucalyptus Lane is what they're titled. Definitely go check them out. Super cool. And this is the last one, unless I find some other really cool ones before I stop filming, which I can't stop looking at the gallery. Like, there's so many things that are popping up, so it's, like, almost overwhelming. I'm, like, trying to separate them into, like, categories for the videos, but there's so many cool lots coming out, so it's, it's a little bit tricky to try to navigate. This one is a Neighborhood by Totes My Goats. And it's 114 Oakenstead is what it's titled. I really like how they have like the little public 
playground area and you could add like a little fishing spot over here they did really cool builds so this one's like a town home that you can kind of create two stories with this one's like a bigger house that's like the two split level which i love the split levels and so there's like a little basement area that you could rent out or you know just one big family lives here over here there's another little family home that you could have a big family open concept home it looks like with a little upstairs and then uh more like I don't know. I don't know styles of homes, so I'm not even going to attempt it, but another style with an upstairs and then a smaller home. And what I like about this is you could place it on like a little bit bigger of a lot and you could add backyards. Like they kind of already framed it out a little bit of like where the doors are for the backyards and stuff. Oh, there's a sunroom. <gasps> I really like that. You can kind of like add little backyards if you added it to a little bit bigger of a lot. I think this is originally on like a 40 by 30. I think that the layout's super cool how it's like kind of circular around so you'll see your neighbors out and about all the time and you could see your neighbors in the backyards or out here playing. And it has a lot of room for family homes so you could have kids out here out and about all the time which I'm so excited for the kid gameplay. I'm so excited to have like kids be friends with their neighbors and go over to their neighbor's house and hang out all the time. Like, I just think it's going to be so much fun. I thought this lot was super cool and, you know, you could change it up however you want, but there's a lot of potential and the structure is really cool. So that is it for this video. I really wanted to focus more on, like, unique, creative lots in this video, like the neighborhoods and the trailer parks, you know, just kind of switch it up from just regular stuff. In the first part, if you haven't seen that my first part to this video or this series, go check it out. It has more, like, modern apartments townhomes family duplexes it has a lot of cool builds in it so if you're looking for something more traditional and more straightforward definitely go check out that video it has a lot of cool stuff this is more of like the creative let's see what crazy builds people have they did not disappoint we definitely got a lot of really cool builds from this let me know what you want to see in the future i am trying to read all of your guys's comments and kind of tailor the next video to whatever you guys comment and whatever kind of style you're looking for. I know there was one person that commented that they wanted to see like the New Orleans French Quarter with some community lots. I am on the hunt for that one. I'm searching. I cannot find anything that really sticks out to me yet, but I'm sure that there will be something that, you know, pops up here soon. Once it does, I will definitely make a video and add that into it. So definitely comment what type of builds you guys want to see and it will help me tailor the next part. I'm going to kind of keep this series going until the expansion pack comes out. I think it's really cool just to kind of load up on gallery builds. And it, one, helps recognize all of these amazing builders and all of these amazing lots that these people create. But two... It also gives you a little variety and gives you some gameplay ideas on how to kind of style and what you might like when the expansion pack comes out. So let me know what you think of this video. If you are enjoying the series, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Sims 4 content. And yeah, leave me a little comment that you're looking forward to the next part and I will definitely make sure to keep them coming. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day slash night and I will see you next time. Peace! Mm -hmm.